Today, we'll learn how to decompose problems creatively. But first, let's review how to decompose problems uncreatively. One thing you've learned in this class so far is to turn a data definition into a corresponding template. For example, here's a data definition for a mobile, and one mobile can contain two smaller mobiles, so the corresponding template for processing a mobile can decompose the processing of one mobile into the processing of two smaller constituent mobiles. That's not very creative because you've learned a mechanical process for turning the data definition into the template. Similarly, here's a data definition for a list, and one list can contain a smaller one, its rest, so the template can decompose the processing of a list into the processing of its rest. Again, this is not creative, but mechanical. Just to take one more example, here are the data definitions of a two tree which can contain two three trees and a three tree which can contain three two trees. That's why the templates mechanically decompose processing a two tree into processing smaller three trees and processing a three tree into processing smaller two trees. The problem we'll solve today is to take a list and sort it from smallest number to largest number. Now, You've already solved this problem in one way by following the list processing template. That template says to decompose the problem of sorting a list into the smaller problem of sorting its rest. I'm always going to put a rubber band around each sorting problem. As soon as that smaller list gets sorted, somehow, we don't care how, we can look through that result for the right place to insert the first of our list. This sorting algorithm is called insertion sort. If you try it on a long list, like with thousands or millions of numbers, you'd see that it takes quite a while. A faster way to sort a list is to decompose the problem differently. Let's decompose the list we want to sort not into its rest, but into two halves. Now we have two much smaller sorting problems, and as soon as they get solved, somehow, we don't care how, we can merge the resulting sorted lists into an overall sorted list. This sorting algorithm is called merge sort, and it turns out to be much faster. Let's focus on how merge sort decomposes a sorting problem. As I said, I'm always going to put a rubber band around each problem, so when we take the list to sort and split it into halves, I'm going to draw this box and split it below, like this. And if we also use merge sort to solve the two sub-problems, then we would split each half into its own halves, and I would draw that further split like this. Okay, now you finish decomposing this sorting problem the way merge sort does, all the way down. Finish this picture. 